Welcome. You are about to view a demo of Informatica On Demand that shows just how easy it is to integrate and synchronize data between JD Edwards and Salesforce.com. Informatica On Demand, or IOD, is the only true cloud-based integration solution from a trusted vendor. So being a cloud-based integration solution, the first thing we'll do is jump into our browser and log into IOD. Once logged in, you'll see that you have pages that show activity that has happened as well as log information of jobs that have already run. All sorts of information at your fingertips from an administration and maintenance perspective. Most importantly, you'll have access to the data services tab where you can get access to the on-demand services to perform data integration. Now when using the data sur synchronization service, it's a very easy process of creating one of these jobs that will go in and synchronize data between any two supported environments, including JD Edwards, of course, and Salesforce. It's a simple process of stepping through a six-step wizard, as you can see at the top here. Step number one is to simply provide a name and then pick your operation as far as what you want to happen when this data hits the target environment. Insert, update, upsert, or delete. Step number two is to come in and choose where this data is going to come from. So you have the ability to create what we refer to as a connection, and that connection can then tell you exactly where that data is going to be extracted from. In this case, I'm, I'm connecting to JD Edwards, and I've, I have a pre-built connection that points me to the JD Edwards system, and we can then, based on that connection, go out and pick our table and our object that we will pull data from. Once you've picked that object and pick, I should say, pick that connection and that object within the connection, you'll then get a quick preview of the data down at the bottom and you've accomplished step two of the process. Step three is very similar. Uh, the difference being that this is where you will choose where the data is going to go to. So in our case of synchronizing data between Salesforce and JD Edwards, we're going to pick Salesforce as our, as our target connection. And of course, it could be any object in the Salesforce environment, in your Salesforce org, including those custom objects. In our case, we're going to pick account. Step number four is optional, but here's where you can go out and choose to add filters. So you can choose your source object. You can choose how you want to filter. It might be based on name. It might be based on uh, some other attribute in the source data. It could also be based on timestamps where you can do a rolling window of extracts every hour or every day, but that's what needs to be done in step four. And then in step five, you accomplish two things. Number one, you do your source to target field mappings. So this is where you can say that the name that sits in JD Edwards needs to flow into the name in account in Salesforce. And the external ID or the legacy key from JD Edwards needs to go into the external ID field in Salesforce as an example. And then of course, any other added information. The second thing that happens here is you can also transform data. So you can manipulate data, concatenate, substring. There's over a hundred different functions that are available to use to manipulate data during the step five configuration process. Once you've connected the appropriate data elements and applied any data rules, any business rules for manipulating the data, you can move on to step six. Again, step six is optional, but step six is where you can add a schedule. So it could be an existing schedule and very simply drop down the list and choose that. You can also from that same window go in and create the same brand new schedule. And so in this case, we could pick anything from monthly to weekly all the way down to every N number of minutes as far as when this job needs to run. That's it. You have created a job that will synchronize and integrate data between JD Edwards and Salesforce. So if we were to go over and just check our Salesforce environment quickly, we'll do a quick um, perusal of accounts and, and see if we have a particular account. I'm going to work with an account that starts with trail. And so I'll do a quick uh, search for trail and we do not have any accounts in Salesforce. And now I'll come back over to the JD Edwards application. We're going to log into the JD Edwards application. If I have that application open, we will 
log in and uh, perform the insert of the new record. So in JD Edwards here, I'm going to bring up a fast path uh, module that pops me into the address book master where I can quickly insert, uh, search, insert, and delete new records. And so I will go out and the first thing I'll do is I'll look for that same trail record here in JD Edwards. And of course we do not find it. So I will go in and I'll add that new record to JD Edwards. And I'm going to add the, the name or what JD Edwards refers to as the alpha name and just a couple of other pieces of information like tax ID, what type of a record is this? It's a customer record. Uh, and then we'll, of course, we'll give it a, an address uh, and all the address components. And then we'll go in and we'll save this and ultimately come back out and run our integration between JD Edwards and Salesforce.com. So now that I've saved that record, we are going to come in and do a quick uh, search of that rep for that record just to make sure that that record was able to find its way into the JD Edwards system. And sure enough, there is our record in JD Edwards. So we will now come back out and do a search on, uh, I'm sorry, do a, uh, a run of the job that will take that data from JD Edwards and push and synchronize that information over into JD into Salesforce. So we'll kick off our job here and we will wait for this to run. And when this completes, we should see our record over in Salesforce. So now we see our record here and say, we're gonna go back into Salesforce. We're gonna look for our record. We'll do that same search for trail and we will check to see if that record was able to get integrated between JD Edwards and Salesforce. And in fact, we do our search and here is our record in Salesforce. So this concludes the demo. We hope you walk away with a good understanding of just how easy it is to use Informatica on demand to integrate between JD Edwards and Salesforce. Thank you for your time.